Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the factors that determine the properties of polymers. You should then be able to describe and explain the properties of thermosoftening and thermosetting polymers. And all of this is for triple chemistry students only. We've already looked at polymers in the topic on organic chemistry. Remember that a polymer is formed by joining together a large number of monomers. This shows the formation of the polymer polyethene from the monomer ethene. Now the properties of polymers depend on both the monomer and on the conditions used to make the polymer. For example, this bottle is made from the polymer low-density polyethene, which is a soft polymer. However, if we change the conditions, we can produce high-density polyethene, which is harder. High-density polyethene is used for the lid. So both of these polymers are made from the same monomer but they're made using different conditions. Now I should point out that in the exam you're not required to know any specific conditions. However, you could be asked to suggest a condition that you could change. So to change the properties of a polymer, we could change the reaction temperature, the reaction pressure, or the catalyst. Okay, now one really important property of polymers is how they respond to heat. And we're gonna look at that now. Thermosoftening polymers melt when we heat them. We can then reshape them while they're soft, and they then go back to a solid when we cool them back down. I'm showing you here the structure of a thermosoftening polymer, and I'm showing you the polymer chains in blue. Now, in thermosoftening polymers, the polymer chains are held to each other by intermolecular forces. If we heat the polymer, the intermolecular forces break. Now the polymer strands can separate from each other, and the polymer melts like this. If we cool the melted polymer, we reform the intermolecular forces and the polymer goes back to a solid. Okay, so as we've seen, thermosoftening polymers melt when we heat them. Another group of polymers are called thermosetting. Thermosetting polymers do not melt when we heat them. I'm showing you the structure of thermosetting polymers here. Now the key feature of thermosetting polymers is that the polymer chains are connected to each other by strong crosslinks. The strong crosslinks are not broken by heat, and that's why thermosetting polymers do not melt when heated. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the properties of polymers in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.